Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below. They have links, so check that out. And if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the videos when the new ones come out, hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up, please. That helps the channel a lot. Um, likes and shares, comments, all that is definitely welcomed. I'm going to do a little bit different of an abstract, or I think I am. So let's get going. These are the four so far that I've, I'm rolling with. Uh, we'll see, <laughs> let me do a little test run and see uh, how the colors are meshing with each other. I haven't used the teal before, I don't think. I may have, but oh, it's gorgeous. And here's where I worry about my blue. Yeah, I may have to make a choice between those two. Uh, let's look at pistachio and see if that's a little different. Huh. Um, I don't know. It may be. We'll see. We'll see what we get. I don't have this planned out. Again, when I do, it just kind of wastes my time because I end up changing anyway because something goes wrong or right or something. Okay, I'm going to make some kind of some wispy stuff for a base. Um, so let's do, I really do want to do that teal. Let's do that. I'm going to put an alcohol right here. Okay, that's my best attempt at wispy. I told y'all I was not good at it. All right, what next? Let's do a purple. That'd be cool. Now, I, if <laughs> some of y'all are going, well, oh, how do you do that? Here's my thinking of how it's done, because I've watched and watched and watched, and I'm just, I just, I'm terrible. Okay, I take, once I blow this and get a center done with the ink in it, I put the alcohol, maybe halfway of it, blow it out to where I want it, and then I start blowing it back in. Of course, it's going to leave this barely wispy stuff here. Then you blow it back and make it still collect in the center. So it looks like it's fading out when you've just ran it off and brought it back. I hope it makes sense. So let's see if I can do it. And I've got this on high. High heat, high volume. Now, once I've got it back, then I'll start blowing it back into its 
area right here. Okay, the little finger things I can't handle, so I'm going to wet those back down. Okay, that's my theory on how I do that. And I'm sticking to it because that's, that's just how I get it. <laughs> we'll just see. Okay, let me do... Um, I'm going to do pink. I'm going to do flamingo. Then I'm going to do blue. Blue, pink. Yeah, pink next. Oh, I'm about out. I'm really not concerned at this point what this looks like because, as you can see, we mess it back up. So I'm just trying to get a circle somewhat like that, dried with ink in it. All right, chain pudding. I love these little bottles. Um, it's got a wide opening here to pour it out of your jug and a smaller one that you can put it right into little bottles like this. And you're done. I'm going to do some of that over again because it's made a big paddle. I want it mixed. I want some veins in there. Yeah, these are definitely my best best ones. All right. I'm going to go with, I think, the blue here. You know how those those flower things where they're in the middle and they spray out like that? I want to kind of do something like this here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what colors. So I'm going to use. Uh, oh, I may put some. Yeah, I'm gonna do some of that too. I'm losing my stuff. So I'm gonna do that card. 
I'm going to do some things here. There's purple. I'll set that down. I already have some of this pink out, so I'll <laughs> stick it on there. Doesn't really show up. All right. Um, I'm going to be using some white. Here is teal. So let me catch us up here. So, you know what these are? <laughs> the little ties that come on bread or potatoes or something like that. Look, flat side, little, you know. Yeah, we're doing this. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I, I forgot to bring it in here. Okay, I'm going to bring out my thick acrylic. I'm not totally sure at this point. Um, I don't know if I want white or if I want white and then do something over it. I'm not sure yet. So I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit. There, I've got like a drop, big drop. I'm going to do this and uh, again, Let's see what it does. It might not do well, and I may change my mind and go to another thing. Um, but let's see what this does. We'll go this way with it. Well, I stink at that. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to guess this isn't big enough. I need to card. Because I'm running out of paint. And I may need just something bigger. Okay, that's just going to have to deal with that. Um, let's do one this way. Okay. It's interesting. Not exactly, and I may need a palette knife for this. I really, really might need a palette knife. Let's try one more thing. I'm going to load one side up. See how much I've done that? I'm trying to get the ribbon thing. I can't do it. 
So we're we're gonna we're gonna abandon ship on that one. Something where's purple? Something I want to do. And then here's some blue. I'm still wanting to try this. Uh, let me do this and see. Maybe it needed to be thinner. Maybe thin is the key to it. This is magenta. I'm hoping it'll match that. Ooh, lots, lots a lot out. some white you know what I think I'm gonna use the thick because I really it's mixing a little bit so that's fine too all right this is cobalt blue
This is a dagger stripper. It's a fourth. Fourth of an inch. So you can see how it's shaped. I will put this in the description too. All right. <laughs> Not a lot of talking. A lot of thinking. Because... I, yeah, this is, this is totally different. I am liking it though. <laughs> I splattered paint in the middle here because it, like all the lines came and there was like nothing to do there. So I wanted to distort it enough to where you don't go, oh, I wonder what they meant to do here. It's splattered and it's white. So it shows up. So yeah. You see, I'm taking it out of the light. All right, y'all go have fun.